Okie doke, here we go. Uh, Richard's asked me to do one of these why I lost the tournament things um, over here at Norman Bev's. Um, basically decided to play the $25 rebuy on Ladbrokes. Um, basically, rebuy tournament to some ways you can play him. You can either get very, very aggressive, uh, hope to accumulate some chips. This can be pretty expensive. Or you can sit there and... Uh, Hope to catch a few cards and just accumulate chips that way. Uh, bear in mind, in the first hour of these tournaments, you're probably going to receive a lot more bad beats than you would do otherwise. Uh, if you do, please don't cry. Come crying to me, and uh, do not be sticking them on forums and things and asking why why I lost the tournament. If you get it all in with aces and someone calls you with fives, the reason you lost is because a five come. Um, now, basically, I'm. Quite loose early doors in these sort of events, um, hoping to catch something up. I'm prepared to gamble with a few draws, depending. I think I've got the right odds to call. Um, one thing to bear in mind if you do play one of these $25 tournaments is if all you do is sit out for the first hour, take your ad on and you rebuy, you're still going to sit there with about 6,000 chips. Um, so you don't need to get too jiggy, but you, you can afford the rebuys. Uh, one thing I would say is if you can't afford the rebuys, then frankly you're in the wrong tournament. Go find a freeze out um, because you're at a major disadvantage to the rest of the players on the table. Having a quick look around. Uh, there's nobody here I really know. Seven Heaven X, he's a, a pretty steady player. Seems to the call seems to have ended that I was making it Skype, so I'm not 100% sure Richard can still hear me on the other end here. All oh, right, so you can hear me. So it's probably wise I don't call you a, a peroxide bitch or anything like that. Okay, here we go. We've got Jack A on the big blinds. Hopefully, don't have any reason to see a flop. Don't mind it when people raid and steal my blinds. Um, despite what people think, I don't go over the top with defending my blind. I do occasionally make a stand. Um, the key, one of the keys about poker in general, is you've got to try and create an image. Now, people assume that because you've played Jack A once, that you always play Jack A. That's not the case, uh, obviously. But it's always quite good to get caught playing these hands now and again, and that way when you do finally get something, nobody's ever going to believe you. Now, one of the keys is also to try and keep position. It's good if you... Uh, Everybody loves things like 6 7 suited, 7 3 suited. Um, the thing is, the key to them is to actually try and play them in position. If you can't play them in position, at least try and have control of the pot. So if you're raising the pot, you're the guy in control. Um, it's a lot like having a fight. The people who throw the, punch, the punches first are generally the ones who are going to win it. So if you're the raiser, your cards are less important. Because uh, of the fact of the matter is, if you both miss, you're still favourite to win it. Ooh, pocket sixes, monster. Now, a lot of people try and get too jiggy with the small pairs. I am going to probably raise here if nobody raises it first. The only reason is I'm trying to create a juicy pot that nobody wants to leave behind. That way, if I do hit my six, I'm going to get paid off. The key of raising here is not to try and chase everybody out of the pot. I've absolutely no interest in picking up 17 chips. It's to try and get somewhere in the region of, which will hopefully all be around about 600, 640 pot. So that should I should I make contact, uh, I'm going to get it. However, one of the cues is is that I have position here and initial raiser. There's every reasonable doubt in their mind that I've already hit the ace. However, Heaven, who I mentioned earlier, who's not a bad player, isn't for having any of it. And unfortunately, I'm going to have to let that one go. Now, why the hell Ty J Pen was in there with Ace-4? It's a rebuy. He's not even added on. He's played Ace-4. He's hit it. Now, he's checked it around. I've bet it. Heaven's called. He can't possibly think he's going to get that through with Ace-4. Now he even thinks he's ahead. I don't know. Mm. 
Okay, Queen King, another juicy hand. I think everybody likes playing these sort of things. Um, certainly in read by times, you're going to be pumping up with that. And if I hit top pair with this, then, you know, basically I'm prepared to get all this in on the flop. Again, I'm not going to go away. Now, I don't need to, do, I don't want to be doing rebounds unnecessarily, so I'm not going to push pre flop in this. I'm actually going to try and hopefully catch a bit of it before I get anything in. And uh, bingo, there we go. We can't hit any better than that. I can't really see Dog 71 passing, but you never know. So he's not got a set or anything. That'll do. Come to Daddy. So here we go. Got a few chips already. Got a bit lucky for him. Um, can't say I like the re-raise there with Ace uh, Ace Jack. To be honest with you, he's out of position. Um, why not just peel a flop off with those Angel? There's a lot less chips with Ace Jack if you were uh, just playing properly. Okay, now 15 minutes in, I've got 3,000 chips. Um, it's basically nowhere near enough. It's, I'm not ready to rock up yet. If I do get busy and get up to about 8,000 chips, I'd probably be happy just to uh, stay out of harm. Uh, but 3,000, I'm still going to be pretty much gambling away here and getting busy. Um, as you can tell, the majority of the people here aren't even taking the rebounds and the add-ons. You just shouldn't be in these events if the case. Uh, you got a huge disadvantage to a lot of people who, you know, some of the Scandinavians who've got apparently unlimited bankrolls who can just have 10 or 20 rebuys and these things. Well, that's a surprise. Seven Heaven X. I've either got his name mixed up with somebody else. So he never used to strike me as somebody who's uh, couldn't afford a rebuy or two. Um, you never know. Recession's hitting everybody. Uh, not just the people on Cracked Kings. Um... Here we go, Ace King of the Big Blind. These are these are unusual ones. A lot of people are keen to push all in here. Now maybe later on in the tournament when people are folding. Um, you're right, yeah, you can start pushing in with these, but I mean one I'm trying to gather chips. I don't want to be scaring anyone away. If I hit my ace or a king on flop, I'm not passing. Remember I can rebuy. Um so what I would normally do, obviously in a tournament or last stages or a freeze out tournament, I'll probably be repopping this. Not always, but quite often. Um, however, in this situation, I want the other two people in, so I'm just going to flat call, similar to the sixes. I'm hoping to hit a big flop uh, and try and get a bit of a coup. Uh, and there we go. We've also got the ace of clubs for a backdoor flush draw. Uh, be unlucky if I'm behind. I've no doubt this guy is going to be betting, which would be great for me because now I can push all in and everyone's going to think he's got my flush. So he's got ace jack here or something along those lines. It's hard for him to put me on ace king. The easiest thing for him to put me on is a draw. And there's every chance I might get called. Oh, imagine if he's got pocket queens. I think there's a very good chance he's going to get called. Oh, well, one of them, I said if I hit it, it certainly was never chasing him away at any point. Uh, luckily, it's in the rebuy stage and uh, we're not out of the tournament. Okay, there's a pocket sixes. Let's see if we can hit a set again with this. Uh, going back to what I was saying before about some of the overbetting, um, there should be two reasons why you're going to be betting. You're going to be either betting to chase people out of pots, which you should be doing with draws, or you're betting because people are going to pay you off. So give it some thought. If, if you think somebody's holding a pretty strong hand, uh, obviously not as strong as yours, overbet it. Chances are they'll stick you on a draw, stick you on a much weaker hold, and then you've really got one off and pay you off. Now, here, pocket sixes, you'd think I would gamble with this. Um, frankly, there's absolutely no need, even if somebody calls, I'm not actually be getting involved with this.